Hello friends, you might be thinking from the punchline that how it is possible that two systems, two AC systems which are with same speed cannot be synchronized. Yes, that is what I am going to explain it to you. First I will explain what is synchronization. When two AC systems we mutually connect each other then we call it synchronization. What are the ways that we can connect two AC systems to each other? There are three methods explained here. First, the dark lamp method, then two bright, one dark lamp method, and the other one is the synchroscope method. So, the first two, the three dark lamp method or two bright and one dark lamp method, these two are generally used in college labs, and the synchroscope method are generally being practiced by the operators in control. So what the dark lamp method is So from the college we have been taught the dark lamp method or the bright lamp method in Dark lamp method the same phases of the two different systems are being compared and in bright lamp method The different phases of the two different systems are being compared and when we get the favorable situation Then we connect both the system. I'm not going to explain too much about this method so let us go to the next now what this synchroscope method is synchroscope method is a method of synchronization which is practiced by the operators in the control room suppose there is a generator g1 or series of generators which are connected to some load in a system now there is another generator that is g2 which is incoming generator that is going to be synchronized to the system so how that is being synchronized to the system we connect a synchroscope across the existing system and the incoming system between the same phases now through the synchroscope we basically compare the voltages of the existing and the incoming generator then the frequency of the existing and the incoming generator and also the phase angle difference between the same phases is that way we compare all these parameters frequency voltage and the angle difference between the same phases when you get a favorable condition or we find all the parameters within the limit then only we give a close comment to the circuit breaker or we connect this incoming generator to the existing system now what are the system requirements for synchronization of two three phase AC systems the first the phase sequence matching then voltage matching then phase angle matching system and also the frequency matching phase sequence matching is basically not a requirement for synchronization it is done for the age of the maintenance people two different phases of two different systems can get synchronized but later on that will give a big problem to the maintenance people as the color coding are being done earlier and after synchronizing different phases in two different systems, the maintenance people will find it problem to identify the phases. Then coming to voltage magnitude matching and phase angle matching. These two are basic requirements for synchronization. Why voltage magnitude and angle matching are required? We considered a three phase AC system with R phase, Y phase and B phase apart from each other by 120 degree but their magnitudes are same so now if we connect r phase to y phase there will be a potential difference between r to y phase though their magnitudes are same it is because of the angle difference so if we connect r to y phase there will be a phase to phase voltage difference and that will lead to huge current to flow between the phases rise to the flow of current so that way we can say when we are connecting the same phases of the two systems magnitude difference of the voltages should not be high and also the angular angular displacement of the same phases of the two systems should not be too high or they should be within the limit so that there should not be any potential difference between the phases so that no current flows when those are connected now going back whether this frequency matching is 
required for synchronization or not from college itself we are we have been taught that frequency of two systems are required to be equal for synchronization but that statement is wrong how it is wrong that i'll show now here i have shown two different system with same frequency or speed so if we compare the same phase voltages we can see there is a angular difference of 25 to 30 degree and that angular difference is maintained throughout so in such a condition that is with same frequency or same speed the angular difference between the same phases of the two different system will be maintained so here we will never find a overlapping zone or a permissible limit to connect both the system together now i have shown two system with different frequencies so here you can see the R phase of one system overlaps the other R phase of the other system after every three cycle. So here we can see we can get overlapping zone of the phases. So in that overlapping zone we shall get a chance to close both the systems together. So that way it is very right to say that same frequency or speed is not a requirement for synchronizing two AC systems or generators. Rather when two systems get synchronized the frequency or speed of the systems or the generators will become the same thing system. Friends if you like the video please like share and comment and also don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you can get the information of the new videos coming into the 